Now, prospective buyers and homeowners are facing a significant dilemma as they endeavor to construct or renovate their homes, primarily due to the soaring cost of building materials. City News' Christopher Kevin Asima recently explored the timber market in Accra to gain insights into this issue. Here is his report, narrated by Hawa Idrisu. The ongoing surge in building materials prices has sparked significant concerns within the construction and real estate sectors. The disruption of global supply chains further exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in shortages and delays in the delivery of essential building materials. The combination of heightened demand and restricted supply has driven prices upward. Prospective buyers and homeowners find themselves in a challenging predicament as they embark on home construction or renovation projects. They are grappling with the increasingly high cost of building materials. So the price is there. Normally it's tough, but right now it's, it's coming like small, small. It's coming down. So all of us will be free for the things buying there. Yeah, all of us will be free of it. It's what I have to say, and it's what I have to say. First there is higher, but right now there is coming down small, small for all of us. Addressing this mounting issue, the Ghana Real Estate Developers Association, Greta, has expressed profound concern over the soaring costs of building materials, emphasizing that it poses a significant challenge to the provision of affordable housing. The current situation um, is, is, is such that cement is now selling um, over 92 cities, in excess of 92, depending on um, which brand and where you're buying from. Again, also, um, if you look at the cost of um, iron rods, the cost of electricals, and everything that we buy for the industry, the cost has gone up. Even cement blocks, the cost has gone up. Okay, so it is like every item that we use, the prices have gone up over the years. And sometimes some of the suppliers complain that it's not their fault. It is the taxes they pay, and some also complain about the exchange rate regime. Um, as it stands now, um, for us, as you know, business um, entities and business leaders, um, there's very little we can do on that score. So we try and apply ourselves as efficiently as possible to the situation uh, and, and not to increase our prices uh, beyond a certain point. Um, if it comes to the pri reduction in prices or something that has to be done, I, I think that uh, that falls squarely with central government. If they can do anything, I wouldn't like to be specific on what they can do. I mean, these are experts. So if anything they can do, any reduction at all, anywhere, will be, uh, we will receive it with both hands and I appreciate it so much, so that we can also pass on the, the cost savings to uh, our buyers. So that is, that is where we are now. Uh, well, you know, the statistics that support that kind of that position. Uh, maybe this person was shy of the camera, uh, but we say, it's, uh, we say it as we see it, and you can verify. This is already open out there. It's information that is out there. I mean, if you check prices of uh, these items I've just mentioned, maybe way back in January or way back in 2022 and check the prices uh, that they are calling today. No, no, I mean, <laughs> your answer will be right there. And like I said, I'll try and get you some information, detailed information um, for you to, you know, to help you with the analysis. Yes. However, there are varying opinions among traders regarding the price trends. Some traders contend that the cost of building materials has actually decreased from January to the present, contrasting with the prevailing narrative. Um, currently, prices of um, building materials, for me, in my shop right now, is coming down a little. That's what my boss told me. And that's the reason why my things even in the shop right now are even low. And I've asked him to even bring some, and he's telling me that because the prices are being dropped and it's affecting what we already have, he's taking time before he brings some. I deal in metals. In metals, prices have not gone up. I normally sell iron rods in this sense. Uh, even at the beginning of the year, iron rods, a ton was selling at 850 a ton. 
but 8,500 a ton. But now it is 740 per ton, which means the prices have come down. No, it was up last early part of the year. It went up a little, but it has gone not at now. It has come down. Inflationary pressures within the Ghanaian economy have not spurred the construction sector. Escalating inflation rates have eroded the purchasing power of both businesses and consumers. While Greta and other industry stakeholders call for government support and policy measures, the construction and real estate sectors will continue to grapple with the implications of these mountain costs. In the heart of Accra's bustling timber market, we have witnessed a noticeable decline in business activities since our arrival. Traders in the area have expressed their concerns about a staggering trend in the marketplace. They point out that the prices of essential building materials have remained relatively stable throughout the year, despite rising associated costs with imports. The predicaments have left them in a challenging situation as they are reluctant to increase prices ultimately bearing the brunt of the economic challenges. Reporting for City News, I am Christopher Kevin Asima.